the whole reason why we uh, went into mobile advertising was that we we kind of saw what happened on, on 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 PCs, and that was interesting. And we always had this ambition that there's a huge spend on brands on TV. And if you look at the numbers on where people spend their time, uh, they spend more time on mobile actually. So so for the last five six years, we've seen a better and more normal correlation on where advertisers spend their money and on what screen. Uh, but there, for a very long time, there was a, a relatively low spend on mobile compared to TV, even though people were spending their time there. Now we see in the last two years is that, um, that advertisers are starting to really take mobile uh, serious when it comes to, to their spend. And I think uh, one of the big developers was, of course, Facebook which uh, kind of uh, found a way to really monetize their user base through mobile. A really fascinating aspect of advertising we're seeing at the moment is the rise of so-called social media influencers, people like the US reality TV star Kylie Jenner, the pop singer Selena Gomez, and even the football star Ronaldo. They can command hundreds of thousands, if not up to a million dollars per post that they make on behalf of certain companies and products. Are we going to see more of that into the future? I think you'll see more of that. Uh, I think it's a trend of that um, media are recognizing that people spend their time on mobile. It's true that a lot of people spend their time on looking up on their favorite celebrities on social media. Mobile has really created a way where celebrities can communicate directly with, uh, with the users. You see YouTuber having enormous audience it's changing the whole media world, and 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 I think you see, and of course, uh, it's very easy for 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 these influencers to prove how many followers they have, etc. So it's kind of a safe environment to advertise. But I think it's just part of um, the whole transition you see from spend on traditional media over to mobile. We know the law is slowly starting to catch up with the rise of mobile technology, social media, the internet. Uh, the European Union recently activated some very strict uh, data privacy laws governing its citizens. Does that pose a challenge for you uh, and how will that impact the mobile advertising industry? Well, I think it's, it's, it's happening already now and uh, we at, at Colony also have to be 100% compliant with the GPR in in Europe. Uh, so I think there's a lot of good things about it as well. It's, it's kind of uh, regulate uh, in a way that, that serious companies will actually apply to these laws. So I think uh, in many ways it's positive that we have some rules we can op operate within. Okay, Lars Boylison, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you again for your time. Thank you very much.